To many of you, this is common knowledge, but lots of new players have asked me on stream. I'm a new player. I have no idea how Athena voyages work. Why is everyone stealing a chest of legends? And what is so special about it? Long story short, absolutely nothing, but I'll explain in detail later. For this video's purpose, I have completed all current Athena voyages in a row to cover each one and how it works, where to buy them and how they differ from one another. I also did not raise an Athena emissary flag, that part is reserved for an advanced video coming soon. I also separated the items to show you what you get from each voyage and which is most valuable for your time. This way, you know what to expect when reaching Pirate Legend, which is the first step into buying these voyages yourself. Speaking of first steps, I'm currently nearing 100,000 subscribers, and you know that's the first big milestone for every YouTuber. As 60% of my viewers are not subscribed, there's always room for improvement. Thank you. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Sea of Thieves is constantly changing, but as the time of this video, we currently have 5 Athena voyages. But three of them are what you can purchase at any time. The default Athena voyage, Devil's Roar Athena, and Athena's run of Thieves Haven. I will cover the other two in a later advanced Athena video, as they aren't accessible at any time. The Athena Emissary quest, which you can acquire after getting your Athena Emissary flag to level 5, and the Gilded Athena voyage. It's a gift voyage, usually we get one per year around the holidays. If you want to know more about that one, check the video on the top right corner. But keep in mind that the items you get from these two are no different from the original three that we are covering in this video. If you are a new player, you can still complete all these voyages by having a pirate legend get you the voyage. As soon as you sell your very first legendary item, it will unlock your Athena reputation tab, where you can see all Athena required commendations. However, almost all these commendations still require you to be a pirate legend for them to count. After reaching Pirate Legend, which is level 50 in at least 3 of the factions, you will go to the Mysterious Stranger available in every tavern and accept the Shanty of Legends. After that, you will have access to the Legendary Hideout by playing the Shanty by the Stairs. Down there, after visiting the Pirate Lord, the same guy you met in the Maiden Voyage, you can purchase the regular and Ashen Athena Voyages. Keep in mind, this is currently random, so there is a chance you might not see the voyage you want until another visit. Let's start with a normal one. After purchasing the Pirate Lord's Voyage and voting for it, you will get 8 different maps, 2 cargo runs, 2 wordles, 2 X marks a spot, and 2 skeleton encounters. It's a bunch of regular voyages put in one happy meal, but skeletons have 3 times the health of normal ones, and some of the items you get alongside the standard treasure are limited to Athena's reputation, and only sold to the mysterious stranger. They are always blue, and they glow. After completing all 8 maps, you will get a final one with X marks a spot, revealing the chest of legends. Devil's Roar Athena is the same. 8 maps specific to the Devil's Roar region, but added hot sauce as standard items are ashen items, red, glowy, flames. Including cargo ones, which are more valuable than the ones you get in the ordinary world. All ashen items are more valuable, but of course, since the nature of erupting islands creates danger to you and your ship, higher risk means higher reward when it gets to the regular items. As for legendary items, they are no different from regular Athena except the Ashen Chest of Legends, which is higher in value and reputation than the normal one. Athena's Run of Thieves Haven, which is currently the go-to choice. You can buy these from the Bilge Rats. Currently, it's Larina by the entrance of every tavern. By visiting the doubloons market, you can find it there. And of course, you will have to be a pirate legend to purchase it. This voyage is made of 5 chapters and is nothing like the previous two regarding quests but the items are the same. The first, third and final chapters are based in Thieves Haven in the order of 3, 6 and 9 X marks the spot. The second and fourth chapters are riddles on neighboring islands. After digging out the chest that should contain legendary treasure, it will spawn a green shadow skeleton, so make sure you have that flame beforehand. And the fourth is identical but uses a red flame of fate. In case you did not know, these flames are required to make these skeletons vulnerable. They drop a legendary skull upon defeat. In this voyage, there is a small chance for a normal chest of legends to spawn. I never encountered it myself, but can confirm it happened with other players. Now let's address the nature of these voyages. 
The regular Athena voyage is in the main region. There's a higher chance of completing that undetected between other ships doing random voyages and world events, assuming that you do not have an Athena emissary raised. As for the Ashen Athena, though that area is less populated, ships roaming there are usually on Ashen Athena voyages, since most players go after world events in the main world. So it stands out that a rare item could be on that ship in that area, bringing out the thieves in Sea of Pirates. As for Athena's run of Thieves Haven, it is even a higher chance that a ship is on that voyage just by being there, bringing even more Tuckers and Thieves eyes on you and your ship. Not to forget Thieves Haven is a huge island with lots of hiding spots. Now we get to the items. Keep in mind, I have excluded all the non-Athena treasure and gems, since if your aim is only gold, Athenas are not the way to go. This is purely focused on raw, non-emissary Athena's reputation, and what you get from these available voyages. All Athena items are considered items of ancient fortune. So for the normal Athena, the total was 1 crate of legendary voyages, 1 skull, 1 villainous skull, a chalice, a gilded relic, or as I call it, legendary boiled egg, and of course, the guaranteed chest of legends in the final chapter. For Devil's War Athena, 2 crates of legendary voyages, 2 skulls, 1 chalice of ancient fortune, and 1 legendary boiled egg. Also the ashen chest of legends in the final chapter. Keep in mind, the only things guaranteed in these Athena voyages are the chest of legends. Everything else is random. So spawn rates vary a lot. I hope Rare will make it less RNG so it can become worth completing these voyages. And now for Athena's run of Thieves Haven. 4 crates of legendary voyages, 4 skulls of ancient fortune, 4 chalices of ancient fortune, and 1 keg of ancient black powder. Since carrying these kegs is a high risk, I left it on Thieves Haven to get back to it later after finishing other voyages. But an encounter with a salty brigantine delayed me. Future video. And as I got back, it had already despawned. The total gold we received from all three is around 50k. Only Athena items. Of course, if I had an Athena emissary, it would have been at least three times in value and reputation. But as mentioned, gold should never be a goal in Athena voyages as you have much better alternatives. As for reputation, that is for the other video I am working on regarding Athena emissary's reputation and the emissary quest. Ways to optimize it and make it much better for you to complete. Now. Why is everyone stealing this chest of legends? To be fair, it has been a while since Pirate Legends received a focused content update on that rank. Hence, the top thing we go for, even if our Athena reputation is maxed out, is straight for the most valuable Athena item, the Chest of Legends, making it a symbol of triumph, even if it means nothing to you, as it takes the longest to get from all in-game items and voyages. The same reason players are after Fort of the Damned, as it also provides a Chest of Legends in the Vault. This is also why you see many streamers and content creators always after that chest. It's our current accolade until something else comes to play. Me, as a streamer, I enjoy stealing these chests, but have also given away just as much, based on your requests. I hope this video covers all you needed to know as a new player about the current Athena's fortune and what to expect as you rise through the ranks. If you found this video helpful, join the subscribers hideout and help my final steps to 100,000 subs. Fuzzy here. Thank you for watching and happy sailing. I'm so tired man, these gummy bears aren't cutting it anymore, I better stop. <laughs>